What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to another 6pm content video, where today it is Tuesday. I am not really expecting much for 6pm content, considering how much we've been getting recently, we're probably going to get something. So we're going to dive straight into things. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, as always, let's go hop into 6pm content. So here we are then in to 6 p.m. Now, it hasn't turned 6 p.m. yet, but we're slowly working towards getting there and um, slowly working through a few objectives on this account, getting a few things done. There is a very good pack pull on this account. If you guys are unaware, we stream over on Twitch, but what I will say is we packed a massive icon. It is available to watch on TikTok right now. YouTube short will have it in the morning, so keep an eye out there because, yeah, it's worth nearly one and a half million coins and well, the reaction was quite good. But anyway, it is 6pm. We're going to check out what we've got. The first thing I want to do is check out an SBC because I have a feeling on a Tuesday we normally get a player SBC. So I wouldn't be shocked if we have something today. We have... Ooh, okay. We have some Serie A... Not Serie A players. We have some um, La Liga players, but it's not just La Liga. It's the Women's League La Liga. Now, there's a lot of people that had said this and somebody actually mentioned this to me earlier on today. I was like we need women's league like SBCs. we need women's SBCs, and this is the first one that we've actually got so ea obviously adding in another set of squad foundations it's an 84 and 85 rated team fairly simple to do for um the nanny um actually a pretty decent card four star four star five for four isn't the worst in the world as a midfielder or a winger you can kind of get away with it really really good attacking stats on her um maybe a Hunter, if you're going to use her as a cam or a catalyst, would work quite well. The pay split isn't ideal, I will be honest. But apart from that, not too bad. So it does mean that we are going to obviously have some more objectives to do, which I'm super excited about. I'm just about finished with the Aerodivisie stuff. Um, so it does mean that we're obviously going to get to go something. Obviously, nothing in terms of the live stuff, but that's okay. Quite a lot there the last few days, so no shock. Nothing in terms of the seasonal progress. Again, that is absolutely fine. So I presume if we scroll all the way down to here... Uh, they would have been there, uh, but clearly not. So we've just got a few more games to do with the Ever uh, stuff, which is very nice. Maybe it's right at the top. I'm hoping. Um, no, am I? Am I missing it? Am I going blind? Are we just receiving one player SBC? Surely we don't. Surely we do get more than just one SBC. It's obviously not in foundations either. Now this happened last time where I did actually not see the objectives it might be that we've got to reload the game at 6 p.m now to see them and um, but i presume we're going to have another three players as what we did with the area divisi it kind of makes sense the game has crashed sadly um, and this is still an ongoing problem uh, that most people are finding and um, so really really frustrating but yeah one of them uh, as i say we do have the brand new sbc card which is very nice we are going to have a two-player pack to open at the end we'll also check out the store because normally there is some sort of promo pack in there and um, but we, yeah we do get four cards all together one card i'm very excited about so we will go check this out in a minute some really really good upgrades on some of the other cards though as well but there is an english forward that i'm very excited to see now hopefully if we actually go to objectives now uh, it will appear for us and if not we will use the fantastic services of footbin because they always seem to have the content for us and um, so we can check them out we won't be able to check out the full stats but here we go so we have the bajid Babajid, four star, four star, can play left wing, right wing, on the left mid, and as a striker as well. So, really, really good options. She's English, so super easy to link. Her stats actually look really, really good. Some okay play styles on her. The rapid is really, really good to have. And then quick step. She is five foot nine, so very usable. Um, again, this card with a dead eye, with a maestro, is a very, very usable card. And then we have obviously have the centre back in Ojeda. Um, probably needing a shadow on her. Pace split is fine. She is 5'5", five five, so not very usable, I will be honest. And then the other one that you need um, is for pre Preto. Preto. 3 star, 3 star as a striker isn't ideal. 5'8 is okay. Definitely going to need either a Hunter or an, a Hawk maybe. But either way, not a great card. So personally for me, Babajid is definitely worth doing. Probably the SBC is worth doing, especially if you've got the fodder right now. But apart from that... Not really too good, I will be honest. So in terms of packs, we do have just the standard 25k and 45k packs. That's fairly respectable. So to finish things off, a decent little day for content. More player SBCs, which you do not mind. We are finishing on two-play pack. Is it Tony Cruz? It is not going to be. It is going to be a Wolfsburg centre mid. 
who is only 82 rated. So Hagel is not ideal. In behind, are we going to get anything good? I'm wrong. Not ideal, but let me know what you guys get in packs. Are you going to do the brand new objectives? For now, that's what we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.